NBA superstar Kobe Bryant killed in a helicopter crash in California, along with his 13-year-old daughter Gianna and seven others. Just moments ago, Michael Jordan releasing a statement saying, I loved Kobe. He was like a little brother to me. And as we say goodnight tonight, here's Kobe Bryant in his own words. Kobe Bryant has hit a shot at the buzzer. Whoa! Right. for two. My family used to call it basketball fever. Just feel like you have to play all the time. You, you, you find something that you love to do, and you go after it. And I was very fortunate to have basketball. I used to make a thousand shots a day. My body could take. I used to make a thousand a day. The Lakers repeat. I was such a huge Laker fan growing up. I mean, like a diehard Laker fan. I had magic posters, you know, magic t-shirts. It was my dream to be a Los Angeles Laker. And so, you know, to be here for 20 years and to get to know some of my mentors, uh, it's been a dream come true. Kobe Bryant. Have you accomplished everything that you've wanted to on the court? No, no. I, I wanted eight championships. As a dreamy kid growing up in Italy, I wanted eight. Why eight? Because Magic had five, and then uh, Michael had six, and I said, okay, we're gonna win eight. And had the opportunity to have seven, and didn't work out. Just an epic performance by Kobe Bryant. You know, sports is a very emotional thing. And in our world, that emotion is what creates the magic. And the fans. I think it was important for them to know how much they've meant to me, how vital they've been in my career. And uh, I mean, we, we grew up together, and uh, that's such a beautiful thing. Now to the passing of a young icon, Chadwick Boseman, the actor, lost to cancer at just 43 years old. Tonight, the tributes continue, including from some of his youngest fans who found their superhero in him. Here's ABC's Janae Norman. Tonight, paying tribute to a king. So many grieving the loss of actor Chadwick Boseman. Well, good night, Boeva! Best known for bringing Black Panther to life and for the first time giving millions of kids a superhero who look like them. His youngest fans honoring their King T'Challa, a superhero on screen and role model in real life. They're superheroes who want to be a superhero. Well, so. I mean, it's not all about being a superhero. It's also about being a good person. And that's why Black Panther is <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> The announcement of Bozeman's death detailing his quiet battle with colon cancer liked more than 7 million times. Now the most liked tweet ever. Black Panther director Ryan Coogler writing tonight, even he was in the dark. I realized that he was living with his illness the entire time I knew him. Because he was a caretaker, a leader, and a man of faith, dignity, and pride, he shielded his collaborators from his suffering. Students at Howard University, Bozeman's alma mater, holding a moment of silence. The school's president calling Bozeman a deep thinker who had a deep passion for writing and uplifting his people. And he did just that in this 2018 commencement speech. I don't know what your future is, but if you are willing to take the harder way, the more complicated one, the one with more failures at first than successes, the one that has ultimately proven to have more meaning, more victory, more glory, then you will not regret it. One tribute touching on the timing of Bozeman's death was from actor-producer Issa Rae saying she didn't know why this one hurt so badly, writing, maybe it's because his grace, class, and kindness was so rare, or maybe it's because we didn't need to see another black man's life cut short. Tom? Janae Norman for us tonight. Janae, thank you. We have the late news about the star of Glee, Corey Monteith, proving what a lot of people feared, that even as he was singing high school songs, he was struggling. The autopsy report just in tonight says heroin and alcohol took his life. ABC's Neil Karlinski back on the story for us again. Tonight, the investigation into the untimely death of teenage idol Corey Monteith has the ending friends feared. Late today, the coroner determined that the 31-year-old actor died of a mixed drug toxicity involving heroin and alcohol. A deadly cocktail, the two mixed together can slow a person's breathing to the point that it kills them. There's absolutely nothing at this point, no evidence to suggest this is anything other than the most sad and tragic accident. Monteith, the actor who played the All-American Kid, had just completed a stint in rehab. He made no secret of his troubled childhood, though, which was filled with drug and alcohol problems. Were alcohol and drugs ever a problem? Yeah, absolutely. How old were you when you began? Uh, I was about 12. Actually, I'm forever young. the young man who overcame so much to become a beloved star died alone in his hotel room from the same addictions he'd fought to overcome 
his entire life. Neil Karlinski, ABC News, Seattle. News tonight of the search for actress and mother Naya Rivera in Lake Pyro, California. Authorities today recovering a body, saying they're confident it is her. She disappeared while boating and swimming with her four-year-old son. No foul play.